Welcome. I'll be reacting to new Captain Scarlet season two, episode two. Selected clips are provided for commentary purposes only. Unfortunately, I had to turn the comments off due to some bad behavior from new Captain Scarlet fans. Destiny, these shades are everything. You have a weird idea of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Paul. You've got to agree it's worth the effort. Just hold that look. Whoa! Sorry, are you okay? As long as there's work for blind pilots. <laughs> what is that? It's got an incredible flash. Uh, okay. I'd left on full power. Yeah. Sorry. Can't wait. Thank you, sir. They'd like to see you tomorrow. They're sending a private jet to pick you up at the Falcon Air Base. I have to give it to Paul on this date. He got down on his knees to get the best angle. I remember, I think it was in Hong Kong, there was a couple who asked me to take their picture. They asked the right person because I was like, okay, we got to get the best angle. I ended up sitting down on the ground just to get it right. Get them the best Instagram photo they could get. Scarlet, with that one move, you might have made me ship you with destiny. Not quite. We're not quite there. But maybe. Ooh, look at that moon. Hmm. Is that Conrad? You're not getting away with that. Don't fall for it. Conrad, where are you? Dangerous on the roads these days, isn't it? <laughs> it's brought us together again. Only he would know Destiny that well. He has a very different idea of what constitutes going out on a date in Scarlet. She has an evil outfit on. I like it. I don't think this is Destiny. But I also don't think they would get rid of her will this be the scene from the opening where she does the handstand past the laser grid i think it is Ooh. she is so cool but i don't think i could keep up with her i think i would probably ask lieutenant green out on a date instead <laughs> A little more reasonable levels of going mountain climbing and laser grid hopping. Why didn't she just climb down? Put your hands in the air and don't move. Uh oh. It's a security emergency. You'll have to wait, I'm afraid, until I get the all clear. <sighs> She's just gonna drive through it. Hmm. What are you going to do with those launch codes? Uh -huh. Tell me what this is about. After all the trouble I've been to, one minute I'm you. <gasps> oh, interesting. And the next minute, I'm me. That is cool. Very rolling. See, Conrad couldn't bring himself to actually just kill her and replicate her. Oh, these look like the old Captain Scarlet and the Mr. On sets. Love. Hmm. <laughs> I've done everything we agreed. Now give me the rest of my money and I'll be on my way. Ah yes, the green stuff. I have some green stuff for you. Uh oh. <laughs> Conrad, you just made a Captain Scarlet level dad joke. I'm so proud of you. Everything she sees and hears, I will see and hear. And she will never take her eyes off you. You are going to detonate this mine in Skybase's fuel storage tanks. And if I don't, 
you'll kill Destiny? Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't do that. Oh? I'll turn her into a Mr. on Slave, and she'll stay with me until the end of time. <laughs> Scarlet, you have to have a plan here. I mean, I know you love Destiny, but I don't think he would do this so easily. The camera, of course. Clever. And this is when Gina, Scarlet, and Skybase were destroyed. You are going to live with me forever. <laughs> it's interesting. Like, even though he's mostly taken over by the Mistrons, there's still part of him that's still him. And it's like merged together in this weird obsession with her. Is that Scarlet? Mm hmm. Paul, I'm not a Mysteron. If you're not a Mysteron, how did you get out? I hit him in the face. <laughs> how do you feel, Paul? Well. That's right. They haven't brought up the fact that he can sense Mistrons in a while. Good. This was such a sweet episode because up until now, Captain Scarlet and Destiny have just been kind of dad joke flirting and it's like, oh, okay. But this is the first time that it really felt like, no, this is serious. Paul was willing to risk everything. I mean, he did have a little bit of a plan, but you could tell he was willing to go very far for her. And then the scene where he was just in his quarters, like looking at pictures of her, just Bambi eyes. And then we finally addressed what I've been seeing this entire time, which is Mr. Ron Captain Black cannot kill her. No matter how logical it is, even at the end, he's like, no, I can't. I'm going to just force you to do what I want. Obviously, that's an equally terrifying situation from Destiny's perspective. But it shows even someone as kind of lost as Captain Black is to the Mysterons, the old humanity still influences in some way. It seems to take the core of who the person is and then amplifies it and then turns it evil, like twisted. So original Conrad's genuine love for Destiny has been turned into this just like obsession with being with her for Mr. Ron, Captain Black. And then Gina was really fun. I wish she had been around for more than one episode though. And then that scene where she's like, okay, I'm ready for my payment. And Conrad was like, oh, yeah, you humans love your green, don't you? <laughs> I'll give you green. That was probably my favorite scene. 